Hi, Dominique. Hi, Cecil. What sets industrial control systems apart from other information systems when we talk about cybersecurity? In fact, ICS have a different paradigm that with corporate networks. Uh, the first priority is availability. Production has to run 24 hours a day. Safety. If you think about uh, the human impact, such as Sovedo or Toulouse, for example, it's clearly one of the priority. Being the third is the security. That clearly um, is a poor part of, uh, of the paradigm. And before main attacks such as Tuxnet in Iran or uh, Shamun in Aramco in Saudi, and nobody was thinking that ICS could be a real target for cyber attacks. So it was not a priority. Uh, in the past, and now it become to be because everything with an impact on the availability is a security problem. So, what main cyber threats are SCADA systems facing today? Uh, first of all, when we speak about targets, targets are mainly utilities, transportation, oil and gas, and now uh, the Internet of Objects, and um, and they are really targets for cyber war of cyber terrorism and even potentially for or IT for cyber reputation I call that cyber cells uh, because the, if you look at uh, for example TV Saint Le Monde in France or just think about what happened in Ukraine in 2014 and it's clearly um, the, the production on the ICS could be a real target because blocking the production or blocking a TV uh, is clearly a target um, and it's used by those um, in use in the industry more and more often. The weakness, because there is a target, but the weaknesses of the ICS security is mainly uh, the ICS have to be open to remote actions to for maintenance purpose, for diagnosis, and for remote maintenance because saving costs, because we can't have people on site for every production. So doing the remote maintenance of a lot of money However, this opened the door of connection from somebody outside of the, uh, the production side. Engineering station also is clearly something which is new because this is a concept where in production somebody has to have to connect remotely on all command control of the production. And usually those connection or engineering station are in the corporate network and they need to connect in the ICS. So it opened the doors of connection. There is also a link because more and more corporate network are also linked between IC, with ICS, for example, for ERP purpose. Because if you have a machine making production or whatever, you need to count the number of actions or whatever. So it's linked to the ERP and to the normal traditional network. So there is more and more links together. Usually people are putting uh, infrastructure with diode or dedicated firewalls, but what we see, and um, this is the beauty of the solution, is that more and more, such as uh, a lot of major uh, oil companies in the world, is using diode plus the web or a PAM solution to really control the access between the two worlds. So how can SCADA systems protect themselves efficiently while complying with the many regulations they're subject to and without undermining their performance? So regulation on the ICS security came mainly from ISO standard, um, where SEC 201, SEC 203, which was the basic. Uh, and now it's more and more pushed by local and governmental rules, such as the French the NSSI, the German BSI, the Russian FSEC. Uh, you have dedicated rules in the ICS security in the UAE, we called NISA, and a, a recent document with NEISS in Qatar, meaning that every country is very concerned and, and defining rules for this uh, ICS security, where mainly the topic is a third party service delivery management. Meaning, okay, this is a problem in, a, in regard of everybody who have an access, have a responsibility, and the SLA in, reg uh, in the uh, ICS, in the production world, could be massive, liquidated damages could be massive. Just imagine that the production is blocked, the amount of money, which is, uh, Aramco, I think it was a billion of dollars, the fact that 30,000 PC was impacted, so the production was set up, no production. So you do imagine that it could be very massive. So that means putting security do not have any impact on performance or availability of the system. That what mainly the rules are what they define or relegation define the objective for three points. Controlling, monitoring, and tracing all the actions that are made to be sure to impact and to have 
the responsibility and the accountability of the actions, meaning that you save the face of the responsibility. The second is that the, well, the best answer we can give is that what Siemens or Schneider make a testimonial by using PAM solutions such as the WAB, which is totally transparent. Performance is not impacted because the, the remote connection is based on standard protocol and the fact that solutions such as WAB and Bashin from Wallix is to have, um, involve the operation process on the very immediate uh, process and give all this action is totally transparent, do not affect any part of performance, okay, all the connection are totally transparent, do not impact also the performance, uh, the integration of the process within the security is totally fluid, totally integrated and give the objective controlling, monitoring and tracing in a single point with the high level of security without impacting the service level agreement. All right. Thank you very much.